Hello, my first graders. Today, we are working on page 433 in your math book. Okay, it's the beginning of chapter eight, and you see these big, beautiful oranges. Right, so if you're not on that page, pause, find that page, hit play when you're ready. All right, so we're gonna look at chapter eight. It's called Two-Digit Addition and Subtraction. So throughout this chapter, we are going to be working on adding, right, using a plus, or subtracting using a minus with two digit numbers. That means they're bigger numbers. Instead of just four plus five, it might be 14 plus 24. Okay, so they're bigger numbers. All right, let's look down here at Curious George. There are four boxes of oranges on the table. Each box holds 10 oranges. How many oranges are there? So let's look at that again. There are four boxes of oranges on a table. Each box holds 10 oranges. Hey, wait a minute. Remember when we're talking about tens, what do we use? Remember from last chapter? Yeah, anytime we talk about tens, we use our 10, right? So if there's four boxes of oranges and each box has 10, it's like using a 10 for each one. So we need if there's four boxes of 10, so we need four of those. So let's draw that down here. One, two, three, four, right? Four boxes that have 10 each. So that's a 10, a 10, a 10, and a 10. Okay, are there any loose oranges? No, it doesn't say that there's any loose. So how many is that? Well, we know that we can figure that out two different ways. Could we count them by tens? Right, 10, 20, 30, 40. So that means there are 40 oranges. The other way we can write that is by looking at our tens and ones. There's four tens and zero ones. So that makes the number 40. We learned that both ways. And I will show you with our base 10 blocks, just so we can see. Okay, our 10s and 1s, right? 10, 20, 30, 40. Right. We're going to turn the page, take a look up at the top. It says add and subtract. Use cubes to add. Write the sum. Break apart the blue cube to subtract. So let's look at the first one. I bet you can solve this. Actually, I want you to solve this. I want you to solve four plus one, write it here, and then do, here's your five minus one. What do you get? Pause, hit play when you're ready to check. Okay, so four plus one equals five, and you should have been able to count that. Look, four plus one more is five. Then we had five minus one. Well, here's five, that same five. If you take one away, how many does that give you left? Four. Hey, and if you remember from before, those are related facts. Five plus one, four plus one equals five. Five minus the one equals four. Same amount of cubes. We're just doing different things to them. All right. Circle groups of 10, write how many? So I want you to go through, find 10, put a circle around it, and then write how many stars are there all together. Do the same on this side. Find a group of 10, circle it. Tell me how many stars are there all together. Hit play when you're ready. All right. So you were looking for a group of 10. That was your group of 10, okay? And then you had four, so 10 plus four is 14, right? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then you had this, well look, there was five in this group and five in this group, so we could kind of go like this. I know, kind of weird, right? Or you might have circled them and just drew a line together. So we had this group of 10 plus two more equals 12, right? 10, 11, 12. All right, here's a hundreds chart, pretty small, right? You might wanna use your 
big hundreds chart instead because this one's awfully small. It says touch and count. Oh, shade the last number counted. So they want us to color in the last one. So um, I would say, well, we can color with our pencil. It says start at one and count to 20. So actually, you know what? We don't need that. We can use this. Okay, so what they want us to do is count each one. So I'll do the first one and then I'll show you what to do on the next ones. Okay, so it says start at one and count to 20. So I'm gonna start at one and I'm gonna count forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the last number I counted was the number 20. So with your pencil, you want to color in that number 20. Okay. You can also go back and recount that. So you count your numbers to 20. I want you to do this one. You're going to start at 30 and count to 56. So if you start here, start at 30, continue counting until you get to 56. Color the last number you say. Then this one, start at 77 and count to 93. Color in the last number you counted. Okay, so this is practicing saying our numbers. Okay, pause, go ahead and work on that. When you're done, hit play to check. All right, so when you counted from 30 to 56, you should have colored in the number 56 because that was the last number you counted. Okay. And then you had 77 to 93. You should have colored in 93. That was the last number you counted. Okay, and it's just practicing counting. That was the whole point of that. All right, visualize it. Sort the review words from the box. So let's look at our review words that we have. Add, right, we know what add means. Add means to get more. You have one number, when you add, you're getting a bigger number. Subtract, right? Subtract means to take away. When you subtract something, you're losing it. You're taking it away. We use the minus sign for subtract. Sum, that word sum is back. This word sum is the answer to a plus problem, okay? Sum is the answer to a plus problem. Difference, difference means subtraction. Right? So we subtract when we're finding the difference. It's a minus problem. Okay, it means we're comparing two things, so we're taking them apart. Okay, taking apart is to minus, subtract. All right, so let's look at these. Put together. So what words would mean to put together? What words mean to take apart? So add. Does add mean that we're putting something together or taking it apart? Yeah, putting together. So add would go here. If you need to pause at any time, if I write too fast, okay, go ahead and pause. Hit play whenever you're ready. Here's the word subtract. What does subtract mean? Am I putting things together or taking them apart when I subtract? Yeah, I'm taking things apart. When we subtract, we're breaking something apart, right? Or taking away. So we're gonna write the word subtract. If you need to pause, go ahead. Sum, when we use the word sum, think about what we said, when do we use the word sum? Is it when we're adding or subtracting? So, if, right? so what does sum mean? To put together or take apart? Sum means to put together. When we when we find the sum, right, it means the answer to a plus problem. So plus would be putting together. Sum. And the last word, difference. Difference means subtraction. So if we're subtracting, we are taking apart. So when we find the difference, we're taking something apart. If you need to pause if I wrote too fast for you to catch up, go ahead. If not, we'll just keep going. Okay, at the bottom it says use a review word to complete each sentence. So we're going to use these words again, okay, to fill in here. We can even use the ones we wrote if we want. All right.
eight is the blank for 17 minus nine. Hmm, well, what is 17 minus nine? Hmm, 17 minus nine. So I'll take nine hops back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, so 17 minus nine equals eight. What would we call that eight? Hmm, would we call that eight is the add for 17 minus nine? No, right, what are we doing here? This is taking apart, right? So maybe we should look at the take apart side. Eight is the subtract for 17 minus eight as 17 minus nine. Hmm, that doesn't sound right, does it? Eight is the difference for 17 minus nine. Is eight the difference? It is, it's the answer to a minus problem. Good, so we want the word difference. When we find the difference, means we are subtracting. We're finding the answer to a subtraction problem. And since eight is the answer to this subtraction problem, that's the difference. Okay, if you need to pause, go ahead. I'm gonna keep going, okay? 17 is the blank for eight plus nine. Oh, so eight plus nine. Well, eight plus nine equals 17. Hmm, so that's the answer to a plus problem. What word means the answer to a plus problem? Sum, sum means the answer to a plus problem. 17 is the sum for eight plus nine. Sum means it's the answer to that plus problem. When you blank four to eight, you find the sum. Ooh, so think about it. What do you do when you're finding the sum? What did I say? Sum is the answer to a, what kind of problem? A plus problem. So what would you do? Would you add or subtract? Add. When you add four to eight, you find the sum, right? Because when we add, we find the sum. When you blank four from eight, you find the difference. Remember, what did I say difference means? What kind of sign do we use? Difference means <gasps> subtraction. So when you subtract four from eight, you find the difference. So we want the word subtract. Subtract means to take away. And when we take away, we're finding the difference. If you need to pause, go ahead. If not, I'm going to turn the page. All right. So we have a little game on the next page that you can play. And this is, you can actually just practice if you want. Adding the three numbers together. We've done that before, right? Sometimes where you take and you make a carrot, right? Two plus four is six. And then you add six plus eight to find your answer. You can do that. So that would be good practice for you to work on today since we do not have, oops, and I, let me scoot that over so you can see again. See, two plus four, right? I made my carrot, it equals six. And then I'd add six plus eight to get my answer. Okay, this is a good practice for you to work on to practice your adding since we don't have a personal math trainer today. Okay, and take a look at our chapter eight vocabulary. Most of these are review words. I'm gonna just turn the page so you can see the other side. Actually, watch that. I ripped it out. So we have the word addition sentence. So an addition sentence is with a plus problem. Four plus two equals six. This whole thing is called an addition sentence. Okay, and on the other side, we have adding. Adding, right, is when we use a plus problem, we're getting more. Then we have the word fewer. Fewer means less, right? And when we have a problem where we want to see how many, if they ask you how many fewer, right, we have, then we're finding the difference, right? It's a minus problem. So we would take the number of birds and 
the number of nests and subtract by the number of birds to find out how many fewer we have. And we can see there's three fewer birds. Difference. Difference means subtraction. Four minus nine minus four equals five. The difference is five. The difference is the answer to a minus problem. Okay, we have to subtract. Okay, this one over here, subtract. Subtract means to take away. Five minus two equals three. Well, here's five. We take away two, we have three left. Okay, the word more. So when they ask us how many more of something we have, right? Just like how many less or how many fewer, how many more? It's a minus problem. We're comparing. We're finding the difference. So look, stars versus triangles. We compare and we find out we have two more, two more stars than triangles. Okay, we can also make a minus problem. Five minus the three equals two. All right. So sum, here's the word sum. Sum is the answer to a plus problem. So you see up here, four plus two equals six. Well, the sum is six. It's the answer to a plus problem. Two plus one equals three. The sum is three. That means it's the answer to a plus problem. And down here we have subtraction sentence. Nine minus five equals four. That whole thing is the subtraction sentence. Right, so those are the vocabulary words that are a review, but you will see in this chapter.